and then we're gonna do a distal ridge right here okay and what I will do here is I'm going to puddle in those holes because those holes are way too open so let's puddle that in so it kind of makes a groove for you right there then puddle this in right here and then we can take this uh, triangular ridge and kind of improve on it and then we have those holes there so we don't have much room in these areas here so I'm just gonna puddle it in and make a depression right there see there's a little hole there so and on the distal also so we're gonna puddle those in make a groove there and then make a groove here so that's mostly there see. and we didn't even touch it with a carver yet so now we're gonna define the grooves a little bit if we did our job right don't have to do much just on the very bottom of the tooth now here the embrasure is a little bit too closed uh, here it's still a little too deep so I'm going to fill these areas a little bit more Then we'll refine the bottom of the grooves. Now what I like to do, if you notice, I don't take the grooves all the way up to the end. I just kind of fan it out as it comes up to the uh, cusp ridge here, it kind of turns into a depression. From a groove, it opens up to a depression instead of just taking a whole groove all the way up so we can just kinda slowly fan everything out this area sometimes makes that little concavity on the buckle cusp see kinda looks nice but since this embrasure here is a little bit close we need to open it here and we need to open it right here When I open embrasures, I generally just make like a curvature like this. See, just like that. So I'll put it in a little bit with the occlusal and then kind of round it nicely down towards here. 
and then I look at it from the top you see that little angular area so we're going to round this in a little bit so it's not so angular and then we'll work on the lingual depressions here a little bit then maybe thicken up I feel it's a little bit too sharp on the uh, peripheral ridge there so I'm going to make it a little bit rounder maybe a little fatter let's see so just remember make sure that the cusp tip on the first premolar is a little bit towards the mesial don't forget that otherwise it's gonna kinda look mechanical so that cusp is kinda reaching towards the mesial see it's still a little bit angular right there so let's take that in a little bit more yeah, that's it. This here is a tiny bit angular, so we're gonna round this a little bit more in. And that's our first premolar.